Welcome to the channel, my pack cracking family. Clever Magic Trevor here. I don't know whether to talk about double masters, what happened yes in yesterday's video, what what we got coming up. I mean, there is just that's the thing about uh, about what's going on in uh, Magic nowadays is there's almost too much going on. I mean, I can literally talk about what's going on all the time. So. Um, Let's start from the beginning. Double Masters, you know? Ah, you guys know how I feel about reprints. I just I just think that Wizards could... Even if they wanted to do the same mechanic, the same card, and everything, they could come up with new art and rename it. That's just my opinion. Um, there's something to be said about the Iconic, and I'm not opposed to reprints. I just think that uh, when... like, it's, it's strange. It's like Wizards wants to... to uh, do it themselves they want to reprint and they want to capitalize off it but they don't want other people to capitalize off their cards um, which i don't think they quite understand that most of us are, or a lot of us even the people that are only players uh we collect the cards regardless so um i don't know we'll see i am excited i i think the art is awesome i think they're kind of theming it off of uh ikoria i think these boxes are going to be super expensive it looks like the pre-orders are starting at 300 bucks um, I don't know whether to jump on one quite yet or wait and see what happens or what's going on. Uh, but it is what it is. And, uh, you know, it's funny because whenever I'm like thinking down on a set, uh, it ends up being awesome. So, <laughs> you know, it just goes to show. I don't know it. I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, so just enjoy it and uh, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, as far as Dan goes, I know I know you guys wanted to, uh, many of you wanted to uh, win that Vivian. Uh, his consolation prize is that full art foil Vivian that I pulled. Uh, I appreciate Dan uh, taking the chance, spending the 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 thirty five dollars or whatever it was to uh, to battle me and uh, put content out, and then losing everything. So we're gonna give him something super spicy, uh, and then you guys get to pick. You know you. Fireside, you get to win either that uh, Trium, which personally, that's what I would go after. But uh, General, I mean, shoot, who else do we have? Uh, I know we had another Mythic. I can't remember who, what we pulled, but it was, dude, incredible bundle, dude. Um, I think it might have even been better than my N MTG Revealed one. I'm not sure. It's like hand in hand, but, you know, it's, I think I pulled four Mythics in both. It's unbelievable. Some of these the bundles it's like the volatility is there because um it does go to show somebody wrote this in there and i don't remember who wrote it but uh, somebody was like well it goes to show that the expensive cards and the full art foils are where it's at and that's what's going on. yeah that is you know that is kind of i guess the direction uh, i i think with the uh collector's boosters and that that stuff be becoming available i mean uh the master sets uh kind of teed up for it and now they're just uh now they're just going off, you know. That's just that's just what's going to happen. So next year we're going to get triple masters, and then uh, after that we're getting quadruple masters, and you know whatever. And so we all get to use the cards to play with them. So whatever. Um, I'm excited for 2021 personally. I uh, I know not everybody likes the core sets, but 2020 was pretty awesome. And then if they take on the theme that they've been doing, and they see how successful Icori is, and they make the proper uh tweaks for 2021 I, I mean can you imagine yeah so i do want to get into this video i don't want it to be too long um this is a sponsored video by my man just a king just a king and he actually sponsored some packs the other day and i kept calling him steve b i think i think i kept calling him that and uh you know um I forgot his his real name. So when I kept saying that, I was like, at, when I was editing, I was like, wait a second, that's Jester King. He doesn't have a real name. His name's Jester King. So this box is for him. Uh, you know, come and see how uh, how well he did, and uh, we're gonna do a random giveaway on this one because uh, I didn't prepare anything else to open. Um, just to keep everybody up to date, uh, we are doing. We have another Icoria split, um, probably sometime this weekend. And then uh, we also have Core 2020. 
And uh, we have a Throne of Eldraine split coming up. And the Core 2020 was a split also. Uh, so, and then the Throne of Eldraine. So uh, there is a few packs left on the Throne of Eldraine. So if you want to go on, on the website, I'm going to limit that one down to uh, four subs. So then that gives seven packs a piece. Uh, plus the pack Kraken family gets a, an extra few packs. So um, if somebody wants to uh, just complete that one up, we'll go from there. So enjoy the video. Let's root Jester King on. And I gotta tell you, this Ikoria is something else. As you can see, today we have Jester King. He decided to sponsor a box and he told me either give me a Ghidorah or a Mothra uh, Supersonic or we're not friends anymore. And uh, I guess this is gonna be, we're gonna see if we're still friends after this. Oh, thank goodness, it's fine. Okay. Okay, I haven't had a bad one yet, but I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Let's get rid of this. We're gonna keep the box though, cause you know what? I think, uh, I don't know if you guys watch infant card games, but uh, I use the box to ship in. Wait a second here, what am I doing? Here we go. I had to think about it for a second. Let's go here. Oh, going with the Dranith Healer. Ooh, a Kogla. Okay, let's see, yeah, right there. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And honestly, I'll take that there like that. Okay, I think I got a system now. Let's do this. Let's do this. What do you think? Everybody's got to mess up every now and then. I just don't edit it out. I think it's uh, built character. A Rigo Leosor and a Sky Cat Sovereign. Boom, boom, boom. And there, see, here we go. And we're going down the rows. We're going down the rows because I, or I mean, the columns or I mean, whatever. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? I've been opening too many packs. Flourishing Fox, the Porcupine, yada yada. These are opening awfully easily. Mythic, General Kudro, fantastic. Fantastic, fantastical. All right, we're just going in any order. I really don't care. Either I'm getting super strong from being back at the gym. I keep wanting to do that. Or uh, these packs are just really easy. Zerda. I think it's the latter. I wish it was the former. Okay. This one. Rare. Sea Dasher Octopus. Oh, man, I, I guess any order. I, don't, I have really no idea. We're just going to grab packs. We're going to grab packs. We're not going to even try to do anything. Why do I keep wanting to do that? I've been opening too many U.S. packs. Now I'm stuck. Now I'm like on the Japanese. And I don't even know what to do. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Gosh dang. Woo. Okay, guys. This is going to be one of those videos. One of them. For the ages. Because I am not going to get this stuff straight at all at all rare foil slither wisp i love this card okay i love it and a rare dranith that's a good card too okay yeah if you're gonna play like a demir flash or something holy crud that slither wisp is annoying whoa another rare foil huh a dranith because we pulled him in the last pack so is this going to be a slither with? Oh, no. Okay, ruinous. And that's how we go. That's interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't control the packs. I just open them on camera. Usually pretty messed up. -ly. That's a foil. There we go. A rare Kahira. And he's back for more. So this is for Jester King. And he actually opened a, a split on my channel a few uh, days ago, and I totally forgot his real name because it's so, uh, it's just not, I mean, it's normal. Dirge bad, huh? It's a, it's a normal name, whereas uh, he's not a normal person. So 
you guys need to check out his channel. His theatrics, I mean, I just, I laugh so hard. It's so, it's so much fun. Mythic, here we go. Vivian, hello. Hello, how you doing? We are glad to pull you. We need you, we want you. So did you bring your friend uh, Mothra with you or what's the story with that? There's the normal Slither Wisp. Because we pulled the foil, we had to get the regular too. That's just how it works. These packs are awfully loose and I am super strong since the gym is back. Ooh, Mori. Okay. I love Umori. I mean, the thing is, uh, I don't think he'll ever get banned, even if a bunch of the other companions do, because he helps out so many different uh, style plays. It's enchantments, creatures, whatever. Sweet, another uh, foil land, and another mythic, Vivian again. We'll put her with a friend. Other Vivian might be sisters, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're sisters or friends or, you know, just some sort of altered dimension or something. Rare, Hunted Nightmare. I do like that card. I know I keep mentioning that. It's not worth a ton, but it's kind of a fun card. It's kind of a fun card. Rare, Quartz Wood Crasher. That's a fun card too. That belongs in a shenanigan deck. And I'm Timmy. I like fake creatures. There we go. Mythic Chevelle. Chevelle. We're doing we're doing stuff, you know? It's not like we're not doing stuff. You know, we're doing stuff. And we still got I don't know how many left because, you know, I decided to open it all weird like. So I can't keep track. It's fantastic. Foil Mythic. Eluna. 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 Hello. And a crystalline giant. Eluna's pretty good. That's a pretty good cool card. Let's just keep pulling these. I'm enjoying it when I hit stuff like that. Yadaro. Still a great card. If you're going to cyclic I like how some people call the the triomes the the tricycles <laughs> Genesis ultimatum it's just funny to me I've heard a number of people calling them that they're tricycles because you can cause they're tri lands and they cycle mythic Nithroi, how do you do an annoying fox to go with it? Okay, so that's uh, five mythics with the one mythic foil. It's so it's six mythics, technically. Technically, emergent ultimatum. I have uh, been enjoying those ultimatum cards. There's actually, uh, you know, standard is tough. It's it's tough, like. You gotta have the right deck to get that mana cost, but if you do, I mean, it's a stout card. Rare Labyrinth Raptor. Have we not pulled a Triome? I don't think we have, because it would be in the land pile. And we have, uh, man, what, 12 left? I think that's four. Okay, so we got one row left, Karuga. Straighten that up just a little bit. And we got one row left. Did we pull all of our mythics? Have we used all of our luck? Or is there more? Yeah, there we go. Talk about it and it'll happen. You bring it into focus, into existence. All right. See, mm. you mention it once, you mention it once, and they just start coming. And I'm one that loves the Triomes. I know, I've heard a lot of negativity, I've heard a lot of great things, but I think they're great. They give so much opportunity. Archipelago, because we always hit that foil. 
Mythos of Snapdax, probably not one of the better ones. So, give me my cards. They're not even mine, they're just the kings. Dire Tactics, that's a mean card. Titans next, I do like that card. And did you see that Zenith Flare? That card is, for an uncommon, is nasty. It's pretty mean. It's pretty mean. Well, Mythos of Aluna, not bad. Okay, we are uh, down to six packs, guys. If I did my math right, because two times three is indeed six. Okay. Rare. There we go. There we go. We'll give you your own pile. Okay, I got packs going everywhere. Packs up the yin yang. Okay. Let's do this a few more times. Come on, uh, Jester King. Put your luck in. I didn't do a glove. Apparently, if you use a glove or gloves, I mean, you, you get better pulls. Did we already pull an Obosh? I feel like I pulled an Obosh already, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I love that Triumph. Such a beautiful Triumph. I love it. Dude, I got packs falling everywhere. Sorry, guys. Rare Cub Warden. Of course, you're going to show up. Oh, that dang neutralizer is right behind there. Let us pull something. Here we go. Scoured Barons. Common Foil. And Rare Colossification. Yes. Yes. We all wanted a Colossification. Okay. And, oh, another foil. And a rare Mythos of Vadrock. Okay. We got one pack left. And it's got one card. But I've been told it's supposed to be the spiciest card. Let's not rip it. Let's not rip it. Let's open the pack. Ah! Sweating. I don't know about you guys. I'm sweating. Did that make you nervous? Me dropping that? Okay, here we go. Here we go. What do we got, Jester? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Baby Godzilla. Your dreams have come true. Congratulations. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. Woo! What'd you guys think? What did you think? I thought it was a. Uh, I thought it was pretty good, you know. Um, these uh, these draft packs. I mean, I feel like you can't really lose right now. The EV dropped crazy low, and now it's kind of starting to go back up, tick up. I do feel like this set is unique enough to carry on. Um, as a set ages, it seems to be if you have like four or five, possibly more of cards that are still used in other formats quite frequently, then that's gonna be the determining factor of whether uh, the value on a set is going to go up. So, um, you know, and then if they're just so-so cards, you know, like not everybody's using them for their decks, then, uh, then they don't typically go up quite as quickly. So it, you, you need like that one card. You need that one person in the tournament to put that card in the deck and, and to say, hey, you know what? This is what made that deck so crazy. And then other people are like, I need one. And then they go on and they buy it up and then there's a whole buyout on it. And then uh, the people with sealed product, you know, that ends up going up and it just has a snowball effect. So that's typically what happens as far as like values and stuff. Like even when Pioneer came out, uh, all of a sudden those sets that everybody thought were dumpster fires were great sets again you know they had they had some value so uh anyways enough talking about that i hope you enjoyed the vi video thank you so much jester king that uh that was fun and uh i really appreciate it and jester king actually has a split coming up in, uh, in another video too so uh thank you so much you guys know what to do subscribe like the video uh, on this one. Don't you don't need to comment the card you want unless you know unless you just want to comment what card you like. Uh, it's gonna be random, but uh, you know make sure you make a comment. That's how you actually win. 
Uh, share the video if you want, you know, it, uh, I always appreciate it, but make sure you pay it forward. Uh, help somebody out uh, that's in need or just uh, just do something nice for somebody. Put, so put a smile on somebody's face. So uh, we will catch you on the next video.